With a total of 28 medals, Michael Phelps is the most decorated Olympian in history. At the height of his career in Rio 2016, he had already won 23 gold medals, more than twice the number of the second highest record holder. Phelps can fairly be described as a superman and is basically the Lionel Messi of swimming. The question is, what makes Phelps so good at swimming? In short, his combination of genetics, willpower, and skill has led to his enormous success. Phelps has an unusual ergonomic efficiency in the pool, giving him an advantage over other competitors. His extreme advantage is due to his somewhat freaky body structure. First of all, he stands tall at six foot four, which is the ideal height for swimming. His arm span, however, is six foot seven, three inches more than his height. Generally, a person's arm span is equal to their height, but Phelps is no ordinary person. This anomalous characteristic provides him with an absurd amount of pulling power in the water. Basically, his arms work as powerful, propulsive paddles in a more efficient way than anyone else in the pool. Additionally, his upper body is that of a six foot eight man, giving him an amazingly long reach with every stroke, which pulls him through the water even faster. Surprisingly, his lower body is that of a man only five foot 10, which is actually beneficial as it reduces resistance in the water. Phelps has huge palms that support his paddling ability, along with size 14 feet, which essentially act as flippers. This giant set of feet is attached to extremely flexible ankles, which work like fins, just like a shark. Now, when the human body performs physical activity, it produces lactic acid. This substance causes fatigue and slows down muscle contraction. To prepare for another round of physical activity, our body must first flush out this acid. To do that, it needs a certain amount of recovery time. Athletes often envy Phelps because it's scientifically proven that his body produces half as much lactic acid as his rivals, significantly shortening his recovery time. That said, two phrases should not be forgotten, dedication and hard work. Saying that someone is born to win is an absurd claim, but having an innate desire to win is far from impossible. His extensive medal collection resulted from the endless hard work and dedication that he put into his training each year. Six hours of training six days a week is no joke. Michael Phelps spends a lot of his time training in the pool, adding up to a whopping 80 kilometers each week, which is more than 13 kilometers of swimming on each training day. Besides this huge amount of time in the pool, he also spends a lot of his time in the gym. To fuel all this activity, a superhuman like Phelps requires a superhuman diet. Phelps consumes 12,000 calories per day, while an average person requires 2,200 to 2,700 calories, depending on their body structure. This enormous calorie intake is necessary to balance all the calories he burns during his training to ensure that he doesn't lose weight. So remember, Phelps' success is based primarily on his training, while his genetic advantages are only a secondary bonus. The question is, will we ever see another athlete of his caliber in the future?